This is a $200 Messi jersey, authentic, exactly like the one he wears in game, including his name and number. Why is it so expensive and is it actually worth the $200 retail price? That's what we're going to find out in today's video. What's going on guys? Josh from SoccerReviewsForYou.com bringing you my review of an authentic Nike match jersey. This is their AeroSwift shirt for the 2017-2018 season. All of the Nike clubs will be wearing a variation of this exact shirt, obviously with different colors and different designs. But I have as an example here, the new Nike Barca away shirt in this really nice blue color, complete with messy name and number on the back. Now the shirt itself, unlike a regular replica variation that you can buy from Nike for $90, this guy retails for $165, $75 more than the replica variation. Add the name and number on the back for an extra $30, bringing the grand total of this particular shirt to $195 US, which is a crazy amount of money to pay even for a pair of shoes, let alone a shirt. So what makes it $195? Is it actually worth it? I'm gonna go over the details in this video as well as give you an idea of how it fits and feels. So if you were considering this version over the regular replica variation, you should be able to make a more educated decision. With that said, let's take a look at what this thing's all about. Also, if you guys enjoy this jersey review and wanna see more, be sure to support the video with a like. The main difference between the replica and authentic shirts from Nike right now is obviously the price, but the material is the really big thing. With the replica shirts, while they're good quality, while they fit well, they're comfortable to wear, they look the part as well, the material itself is one single type of material, a single thickness, a same pattern across the entire shirt. With the authentic ones, it features their Aero Swift technology, which has evolved from when they first introduced it, this latest variation, to me at least, being by far the best, and essentially what it is it's, it's a very heavily engineered shirt design kind of like what they do with flying it on their footwear every square inch of this shirt has a different pattern a different thickness to it a different weave a different stretch to it they really thought of every square millimeter on this particular shirt and made it to be a certain way if a shirt could be high tech this is the most high tech shirt that i've ever come across when you put the shirt on for the first time there's a couple things that stand out to me as being different enough to where you'll actually notice them versus the replica version. The first being that this feels a lot thinner than the replica variation. And once you start moving around, there is a lot more airflow, especially in the arms on the design of this new AeroSwift variation, where there's a lot more significant perforations happening through the sleeves as well as through the shoulder. So air does pass through this shirt a little bit more efficiently, which when it's hot outside, that would definitely be a lot better. And the second thing that I do notice is that there is less restrictiveness to this material. It does have, not only because it's thinner, but because of the type of material it is, a lot more stretch to it, especially on the seams. You'll notice that all the seams are actually fully elasticated. You have one single seam that basically goes down the side, up underneath your arm, and then up on the underside of the sleeve as well. So that's all one connected piece, and it's all fully elasticated. So normally where you would have kind of a loop right here of solid stitching to attach the sleeve to the rest of the shirt. It's kind of a one piece design here that does give it a more seamless look, a seamless feel. And like I said, a little bit less restrictiveness. That's not to say that a replica shirt is gonna make you feel restricted, but for your extra $75, the shirt legitimately does feel at least a little bit different from the standard replica version. Believe it or not, Nike actually does have tech specs for their AeroSwift technology, where they make three main points. The first being that the shirt itself is supposed to be 10% lighter, which I definitely do believe based on how thin this shirt is. It is one of the thinnest shirts that I've personally ever worn. Are you gonna notice 10% less weight when you're actually wearing it? That is something that I would argue, no, you won't. They also say that the shirt offers 50% more stretch, which like I said, the shirt does feel very non-restrictive, especially in the shoulders and arms area. This doesn't feel particularly stretchy to me. And honestly, given how thin it is, if you pulled hard enough, I'm sure it wouldn't take too much to rip it. But like I said, the restrictiveness or the non-restrictiveness of this shirt does lead me to believe that this is stretchier than the average shirt out there. And then the final thing that they list is that this shirt is supposed to dry 20% more quickly, which I guess is good once you've washed it and you want to wear it really quickly. But in terms of when you're actually wearing the shirt, once it's wet, it's going to stay wet, at least if you're playing it and sweating. So the fact that it dries more quickly, 20% more quickly, is that something that's going to be beneficial for your extra $75? I would argue no as well. 
As far as the fit of this shirt is concerned, I mean, you can pretty much see it for yourself. It doesn't fit that much different from the replica variations. It's obviously got a nice kind of athletic cut to it. So it is slightly slimmer overall, especially through the middle part. But for the most part, I wouldn't say the cut is that much different from the replica variation. The material through the middle is thinner. It does feel more stretchy. I would argue it's softer as well. It does feel better, but it's a fairly minimal difference. To me, the big difference between replica and authentic is that the authentic ones do fit tighter through the shoulders as well as through the arms. So there's a little bit less slack there, which again, I think looks a little bit better, but you're also paying an extra $75 for it. So it's something that you really have to want in order to justify the increase in price. The big thing though, going from replica to authentic is the way the sizing works. Normally in a replica shirt, to get one to fit like this one does right now, I would wear a men's size medium, whereas with this particular shirt I'm currently wearing, this is actually a men's size large. So the authentic ones basically run a size small. So I go from a medium in a replica to a large in the authentic for essentially the same size. So if you've only ever worn replica versions, I would personally recommend going a size up in the authentic model if you're looking to have a similar fit. If you stick with the same size, the fit is going to be a lot more snug. So it's higher quality, it fits a little bit nicer, it looks a little bit better, is that enough to justify paying $75 more or with the name and number $200 for an actual soccer shirt? That's obviously something that you have to determine for yourself. But for me, the cool part of the authentic ones is one, knowing the fact that it is the exact same version of the shirt that the pros are actually wearing in game. And two, the details that you see up close on this shirt. That to me is what to a certain extent does make it worth it. If you look at the shoulders alone, you can see this line right here. That line is not printed on. That's the actual material. You can see on the front side, it's got this really cool perforated material. So the air passes right through when you're running forwards. But then on the back, side, they left the material a little bit thicker and it basically transitions in terms of patterns of material completely seamlessly. You don't feel that at all, but you do see it on the outside. Even in the chest area, you can see very intricately designed within the weave is this kind of chest plate design that to me just looks really, really cool. It's a detail you will not get on the replica version. Even looking at the crest, the crest itself is actually mesh based where you don't actually have the graphics to allow airflow to pass completely through the crest even. So they really did think of every single little detail. You'll also notice that the actual logos, instead of being embroidered like the Nike swoosh normally would be, they press it on right there just because it's gonna end up being a little bit lighter than the embroider, embroidery would otherwise be. The elasticated seams that we talked about, really cool detail as well. And again, just the little things that they incorporate within this Aeroswift material to me is what makes this cool. Is that worth it to you? Again, that's something you have to determine for yourself. One last thing that definitely is worth keeping in mind as well, if you are still trying to decide between replica and authentic, is how often you're actually going to wear it. If you're somebody that buys a soccer shirt and you plan on wearing it every other day, either for playing or just for casual wear, the replica version long-term is probably going to be more durable and there's just less that can go wrong. With a shirt like this, as cool as it is, it's a $200 shirt. So if I were to wear something like this, I would personally be a little bit paranoid in the back of my mind, which maybe not everybody's like that, but for me, I wouldn't necessarily want to wear this every single day. It's something that would almost be more of a special occasion thing rather than a shirt that I plan on wearing all the time, like I explained. The more you wash this, because the material is so thin, because all of these logos are kind of heat pressed on, there is more potential for something to go wrong. There is more potential for the material to deteriorate. And again, just for the sake of longevity, the replica version is definitely gonna hold up a lot better. So definitely worth keeping in mind as well. So is this shirt $200? Really, I think it comes down to what your budget allows for. I think it's safe to say that this is a very, very cool shirt. The details, everything that they've incorporated into this design is top-notch quality. And it's cool to know this is exactly the same version you're gonna see the pros wearing on TV. Whether you're somebody that wants to wear it a lot, or even if you're a jersey collector, having the actual authentic version definitely does have added value to what you're buying. So in that regard, I would say that it's worth it. But if you're somebody that just wants the latest jersey for the sake of how it looks, if you're gonna wear it all the time, if you're gonna play in it, practice in it, honestly, I would probably go for the regular replica version and basically save yourself 
a hundred bucks. Ninety dollars versus hundred and sixty-five without the name, seventy-five dollars. I did my math wrong. Probably is the better value for you long term. And like I just talked about, it's going to offer more longevity than the authentic version will as well. If you still want to wear it a lot and you can afford the hundred sixty-five dollar price tag, by all means buy the authentic version. But that would kind of be my train of thought if I were trying to decide between the replica and authentic. The authentic one is definitely better, but it's not something that you necessarily need, depending on how you plan on using it or even displaying it. Anyways, that's pretty much it for my review. If you guys enjoyed it, be sure to support it with a like. If you have any questions at all regarding this particular shirt, leave them down below in the comments and I definitely will get an answer out to you. If you're interested in one of these shirts for yourself, I'll leave a little pop-up on screen to a page on my website where there will be buy it now links for this particular shirt as well as other Nike authentic Aeroswift shirts that are currently available. So check that out if you're interested in one. Subscribe if you haven't already for daily videos on all the latest and greatest soccer gear. You can find all of my social media information linked down below in the description as well. Another than that guys, hope you enjoyed today's video and as always, thanks for watching.